Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and yeah, we're here with a shave video. Finally, huh? I, uh, well, I did have a couple of videos to catch up on, and it was my first week back at work. I made it through, aha, uh -huh, Friday at last, eh? And in a little while, I'll be heading to the movies to see that movie 1917, so I'm looking forward to that. Got a new shave, uh, or a new shave video today, like I said, and I'm going to be using some products that are not yet available. Uh, some are, but uh, not the aftershave and soap. The aftershave and soap comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and it's called ESP. And ESP, I t well, I, I've smelled the uh, soap already, or the uh, soap, and it's, it smells good. It's a, uh, the aftershave just, I smell the lavender and the sage over most of the other items in there, and just arrived. Uh, it's uh, white sage, patchouli, lavender, uh, coriander, ginger, agarwood, labominium, uh, dark and spicy, woody, ancient, uh, mysterious cold weather fragrance. And it's cold out there today. Uh, you can tell. I'm almost done with my cold. <clears throat> little bit hanging on, a little bit, but uh, that cold wind's blowing out there. So I thought, hey man, why not... Uh, why not try something that says a good cold weather shave? So we're going to try those two items today. From DS Cosmetics. Paul H. Films Brush. All right. I, I They have a whole line of the brushes of uh, YouTubers uh, that, that do shave videos. And uh, I've got Sinatra Lennon. Uh, I've got this one. And Kevy Shaves will be next. Really looking forward. I like that handle. It's kind of... You know, where is my synthetic handle? Of course, I can't find it. But for looking at it, here's my uh, the Summer Edition brush. And uh, it's kind of similar. Really, you can't go wrong with these DS Cosmetic Knox. So, looking forward to trying this brush out today for the first time. All right, I'm going to put it in the crystal skull. There's the dog. I hope the mailman's not on his way. <sighs> Almost on us. Oh, let me back crazy dog. The mailman is such a cool dude. You know, but uh, there was another mailman. I, I think I told you the story. Uh, he pepper sprayed my other dog. My dog was on a chain in the front. Uh, and that older dog, who's passed away now, taught my new dog, you know, the mailman's coming. You know, because he got pepper sprayed. So no wonder he was pissed off. All right. Well, that's over. Rockwell 6S. We're going to be doing that today with a number three plate. Can you see that number three plate on there? I'm going to be using my favorite Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade from India, the Saloon Pack. I'm going to be using that today. I think we actually look like we're ready to start. All right. Well, welcome. Hey, let me, that looks a little crooked there. Sorry. How's that? All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, man. Many thanks to Doug Smythe for sending me the, uh, kind of the advanced copy of, uh, of ESP. I haven't looked. I, sometimes, you know, I, if you guys have already done a video on this, you know, and I, I, if I look, I might say something that you guys have said. So uh, I haven't looked. I don't know if you have done a video of this yet or if this is the first one. It'd be kind of cool if it was. So, we'll see how the results go. All right. Very, very nice soap. I'm just going to whip it up right here in the container. Well, like I said, I'm glad it's Friday, guys. Yeah. Man, that's, that scent is, is actually going all over the shave den here. And I did put too much water in that synthetic brush. First time using it, though. First time using the brush, but I've used synthetic before. First time using the soap. Now, if I were to keep going, see that? It's nice and thick. You guys say, oh, man, Ken, you're always using a thin soap. I kind of like it that way. I usually don't cut myself. I get used to it. Let's see if I can keep it out of my ears. Let's see. 
We'll try to be a little more cautious today. Man, that last mail call video, 17 minutes, gents. I apologize. I try to keep my videos around 13 minutes. That seems to be the attention span. One fortunate thing, you can always fast forward through them. If they're too long, That's what the fast forward button is for. Now this is thicker than usual. Superior scent. I mean, really like that scent. I think this is the CK6 formula. Yep, CK6 formula. Very slick soap. I'll be seeing Doug again and Matt again uh, at the Big Shave. Southwest coming up. I don't know how many of you guys are going. Uh, should be a good time. All right. The Rockwell 6S. Very nice. I know a lot of you have the 6C. Uh, I think I had a lot of overtime come in or something. And I paid the extra 50 bucks and I got the S6S. I always love this razor. Catching up on a lot of the videos. I was watching uh, Kevy with the uh, Swarovski uh, uh, razor. Uh, I haven't seen Paul's version yet. I have to look at that. I was watching some SoCal Shave, a couple of the other guys. All right. Okay. Soap's very slick. I'm often get so involved in conversation with you, I forget to tell you what the product, but soap is very slick. I got almost all of it off on the first pass, very little left to go. So that blade combo, that base combo, this soap was a good call. Since I've started doing it, some of you have asked. So wristwatch check, Omega Seamaster, 1996, this one was made. This is from the golden eye era, era of James Bond movies. New Bond movies coming out, looks good. I'm torn because I have the cool Spectre poster right here. And uh, I'm probably gonna buy the new James Bond poster and I don't know which one of these in here I should retire. I've got Goldeneye over here to my left, Moonraker, and Spectre. So if I put the new one in, one of those has to go. So any suggestions? Won't dump it. I'll just, just not have it on display in here. All right. I can guarantee you not one cut. Not one cut yet. 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 <laughs> and don't be cocky. Not one cut yet. Look. That is thick, thick soap. That does smell good. I'm assuming that the aftershave has uh, alcohol in it. Let's see if I get a burn. Gonna be surprised. I like that. Man, the Rockwell razor, at least this knurling, lets me just hang onto this thing very tight. No dropping the razor. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. I heard it's like one continuous, looks like one continuous frame with no cuts. I mean, there are cuts, obviously, but they, he's, the director, Sam Mendez, has put the... Uh... Oh, I did get myself right here. Okay, the usual spot. The usual spot. See, I spoke too soon. 
feel that movie looks uh, good. I'm going to try it out tonight. Hopefully it makes for an entertaining evening. Saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I really enjoyed that movie. Knives Out. Enjoyed that movie. Underwater. Yeah, it's a good, could have been a better ending. I've been to a few movie premieres in my life. I've won radio contests. Lone Wolf McQuaid, that's the autograph with Chuck Norris, is kind of off to the side. Uh, he was signing autographs in the lobby. That was in Beverly Hills. Uh, Predator. Let me think, what else? Oh, uh, Die Hard 3. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Got to go see that at uh, the Chinese Theater in uh, Hollywood. Really nice location. I remember it vividly. It was around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock at night. I showed up. Uh, they had my name on the list. I was there with my wife. I think I, yeah, we, yeah, I think we were married. And uh, the the light just started to go down. And have you been to Hollywood? <laughs> uh, it's great during the day. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. But what that light was going down, <laughs> and then out of the alleys, the <laughs> looked like vampires were coming out and uh, <laughs> people coming up. You know, it was it, what an experience. <laughs> Hollywood, man. Go figure. Ah, oh, must have been the people snoozing in the alleys. Sun goes down, out they come. But a good movie, good premiere. I still remember the image. Somebody said that. So here come the vampires. I was like, oh. But uh, <laughs> those movie premieres are always cool. All right. Two passes do it for me. I know some of you guys are like, oh, man, you need four. Now, two do it for you. You know, shaving is an individual preference. Do what you want. If it works for you, do it. All right. ESP. That's got a really, that's my watch dinging. Somebody says, hey, man, you're wearing two watches. Really, this is my phone. Uh, I like to have a timepiece. I mean, an Omega as a watch is a timepiece. The iWatch is just for tracking, reading messages, answering the phone, and uh, it tracks my health. So, you know, it's not that I can't tell time. They go, you're wearing two watches? And yeah. Not all the time. It's my phone. All right, there's alcohol in this. Oh, Smells good. It's got a good burn. Who the hell is bothering me here? Crap, it's my wife. Sorry. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm going to hit that again, man. That is, that smells good. Oh, no burn the second time. Come on. Man, very good. All right, guys, I think you're going to see three videos in the next day or so, back to back, catching up, right? All right. Thank you very much for watching, man. Thanks again for your subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Thanks for putting up with me. I try to answer every one of your comments. One guy said, hey, man, you're ignoring me. You're not answering my comments. His comments were getting filtered. I, I don't filter. YouTube filters. It says hold, hold. It, they hold inappropriate comments for review. I don't know. So sometimes I don't get all your comments. If you see it on there after you comment, you know it went through. If you don't, something with YouTube. All right, man. See you soon. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching.